Below is a packet of bowls. There are 15 bowls in total. 4 are red bowls and 5 are green bowls. And how many yellow bowls are there in the packet? How to calculate the number of yellow bowls in the packet? To find the number of yellow bowls, total number of bowls, 15, minus the known number of bowls, which is 4 red bowls, minus another known number of bowls, 5 green bowls, to give us 6 yellow bowls. This mathematical concept is going to apply in the combustion analysis in the topic that I'm going to discuss today in order to find the mass of third element. Hey, I'm Teacher Tan. If you like my videos, do remember to subscribe my channel so that you won't miss any notifications when I update my channel. Today, I will share on how to determine empirical formula and molecular formula from combustion analysis. What is combustion analysis? Combustion analysis is a laboratory technique which is usually used to determine the empirical formula for compound with carbon and hydrogen using combustion reactions. So this is the apparatus usually used for combustion analysis. So it consists of furnace to do the combustion reaction. Since the compound consists of carbon and hydrogen, so the products will be carbon dioxide and water. So the furnace is therefore connected to water absorber to absorb water and carbon dioxide absorber to absorb the carbon dioxide products. So for example, if this is a compound with carbon and hydrogen elements and sometimes can have another element X and can still use combustion analysis. So during the combustion reaction, oxygen is added. So combustion reactions occur, produce the product carbon dioxide and water. And this carbon dioxide and water will move to the water absorber and also carbon dioxide absorber and be absorbed by the absorbers. Okay, by determining the mass of water absorbed in the water absorber, we can determine how much hydrogen present in the compound. And also, by determining the mass of carbon dioxide being absorbed by the carbon dioxide absorber, we can determine how much carbon present in the compound. To determine empirical formula using combustion analysis, basically, there are only five steps to follow through. Step number one, we need to calculate the mass of each element. Remember, for combustion analysis, the element usually consists of carbon, hydrogen, and sometimes another element. So how to determine the mass of carbon is from carbon dioxide. And how to determine the mass of hydrogen, it is from the mass of water. And the mass of third element, I will show you later how to determine the mass of third element if there is third element presence in the compound. Step number two, we construct the table with element, moles, mass, mole ratio, and empirical formula rows. And in step number three, we calculate moles for each element. And in step number four, we calculate mole ratio. And in step number five, we write down empirical formula. I will use these examples to go through the five steps. In this example is given isopropyl alcohol composed of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen elements and 0.255 gram of isopropyl alcohol is combusted and 0.561 gram of carbon dioxide is being produced and 0.306 gram of water is also being produced and as you to determine the molecular formula of isopropyl alcohol given the molar mass is 60 gram per mole. We know that want to determine molecular formula, first we must find the empirical formula. So how to find the empirical formula? We need to go through the five steps. So step number one, we need to calculate the mass of each element. So what elements present in this isopropyl alcohol? Carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. And how to find the mass of carbon? So to find the mass of carbon, we need to find from the mass of carbon dioxide. 
So this is the formula to find the mass of carbon. So molar mass of carbon divide with the molar mass of carbon dioxide and then multiply by the mass of carbon dioxide. So what is molar mass of carbon? So it's 12 gram per mole and the molar mass of carbon dioxide is 44 gram per mole and multiply with the mass of carbon dioxide which is 0 0.561 gram given in the question and what we get 0 0.153 gram this is the mass of carbon so we have found the mass of carbon and how about the mass of hydrogen we do the same thing to find the mass of hydrogen so for the mass of hydrogen molar mass of hydrogen multiplied by 2 divide with the molar mass of water then multiply with the mass of water so I want to emphasize why we need to multiply by 2 here it is because in one water molecule there are two hydrogen atoms so because of that the molar mass of hydrogen we need to multiply by 2 so what is the molar mass of hydrogen is 1 gram per mole multiply by 2 because there are two hydrogen atoms in one water molecule and divide with the molar mass of water 18 gram per mole then multiply with the mass of water given in the questions 0 0.306 gram then what we get here 0 0.034 gram is the mass of hydrogen so isopropyl alcohol consists of three elements so we have found the mass of carbon mass of hydrogen now we want to find the mass of oxygen so how to find the mass of oxygen must remember we are being given the total mass of our isopropyl 0 0.255 gram and it consists of carbon hydrogen and oxygen we already found the mass of carbon, already found the mass of hydrogen. How do we find the mass of oxygen? So very simple, we just need to use the total mass of isopropyl alcohol minus the mass of carbon and also the mass of hydrogen. And what we get here is the mass of the third element and in this question, is the mass of oxygen. Step number two is to construct a table with rows to fill in elements, mass of elements, moles, mole ratio, and empirical formula. In these questions, already been given the isopropyl alcohol is composed of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So we can fill in the elements first. And in step one, we already calculated the mass of each element. So also can fill into the table. And step number three, we calculate moles of each element. Again, to calculate moles of each element, we use the formula number of moles is equal to mass divided with molar mass. So for carbon, the mass is 0 0.153 divided with the molar mass of carbon, 12 gram per mole. And what we get here is 0 0.01275 moles, and that is the moles of carbon. Do the same thing. For hydrogen, mass divided with molar mass. So the mass of hydrogen is 0.034 divided with 1 gram per mole, the molar mass of hydrogen. And what we get is 0.034 moles, moles of hydrogen. Do the same thing to find the moles of oxygen. Mass divided with molar mass. The mass of oxygen is 0.068 divided with 16 gram per mole, the molar mass of oxygen, and 0.00. 425 moles here is the moles of oxygen and in step number four we calculate mole ratio how to calculate mole ratio again is moles divided with the smallest mole so the smallest mole that we have calculated in step number three is 0 0.00425 so in step four we want to find mole ratio we use the number of moles divide with the smallest mole so 0 0.01275 divide with the smallest mole 0 0.00425 we get 3 do the same thing for hydrogen the moles divide with the smallest mole so 0 0.034 divide with 0 0.00425 and we get 8 so that is the mole ratio for hydrogen and how to calculate the mole ratio for oxygen same thing 
So the mole divide with the smallest mole. So 0 0.0425 divide with 0 0.0425 and we get 1. So our empirical formula therefore is C3H8O. To find molecular formula, first we must calculate what is the whole number multiple n. How to calculate whole number multiple n? Again, molecular weight, which is equivalent to the molar mass, divide with empirical formula weight. So the molar mass given here is 60 gram per mole, and the empirical formula weight, we need to look at our empirical formula. Our empirical formula given is C3HA. Oh, so to find empirical formula weight, so there are three carbon. So 3 multiplied with 12 gram per mole plus hydrogen 1 gram per mole There are 8 of hydrogen so multiply by 8 plus 16 gram per mole the molar mass of oxygen multiplied with 1 and our n is 1 so multiply the multiple whole number n into the empirical formula and we get our molecular formula for isopropyl alcohol as C3H8O